Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Wassalatu wassalam ala Rasulullah wa ala alihi wa sahabihi wa man tabi'a bi ihsan ila yawmiddin. Rabbi shrah li sadri wa yassir li amri wa ahlul ukhdatan min lisani yafqahu qawli. Um, first, I want to welcome all my viewers with the Islamic greeting. The greeting of peace and the greeting of people of Jannah, which is Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Um, inshallah, it will be very brief today, but I quickly want to touch on something which is very, very important, which is something which our youth, the Muslim youth, our young stars, are common with today. Sitting and making idle talks to the extent of mocking their own religion, unable to defend their own religion, or in the name of jokes, or mere immorality. This leads to the, the, the destruction of their ideology, mocking the legislation, mocking the scholars, or perhaps because they are ashamed to defend their religion, they sit with non-Muslims, and when they speak bad about their religion, it would have been better for them to excuse themselves, but no, they will stay there. All in the name of, I don't want to be an extremist or uh, a fundamentalist, or I don't want to receive any of those names. You can't defend your religion, and yet you sit with those people who are mocking your religion. And you might go further to even join them in mocking your religion. SubhanAllah. This is a serious issue because this can take you out of your religion, out of Islam, or make you an agnostic. You start having doubts about your religion. You see people making false accusations about your religion. This act can make you slander your religion and drive you into disbelief. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in Surah Al-An'am, verse 68, that people, hypocrites, who talk bad about your religion, you shouldn't sit with them, you should move away from there, except they change the topic, they change the theme of the discourse. But if shaitan make you not to realize this, then when you recollect, you come back to your senses, then you should seek for Allah's guidance. Speaking bad about your religion, uh, making just of religion just merely because of your friends or your cohorts, it affects you, subhanAllah. It makes you one of them. As the Prophet sallallahu said, Man tashabbaha bi qawmin fa huwa minhu. So whosoever associates with a group of people, if you associate your, your, yourself with certain people, whether it be your friends or your co your, your, your your co-workers, whatsoever, you are sitting in amongst them. You are part of them. If your friends are sitting in a gathering, drinking alcohol, and you say, they are my friends, I won't, I won't take alcohol, let me just mingle with them. Come on, you are part of them. You shouldn't be there where a sin is being committed because you'll be regarded as one who takes alcohol. There is a saying that show me your friend and I'll tell you who you are. Now you might say, no, they can't influence me. Who are you not to be influenced? You don't get influenced consciously. It comes gradually and the shaitan who work very hard will make it easy to happen. So when these things happen, you should excuse yourself and stay far away from it. So another thing you should know is Islam does not permit this kind of relationship. Whether it be your friend, your very close friend or your co-worker. Islam does not permit this kind of relationship. Even if there are people whom you enjoy their speech, they are very funny, you like to be with them. Once it comes to idle talk, demeaning your religion, speaking bad about your religion, then you should cut it off. It's what? It's because Allah Azza wa Jal should be your priority. Your religion should be your priority. Instead of people who I've chose the other part, worshipping any other thing beside Allah. I'm not just stopping at that, demeaning your religion. Except with the intention of talking to these people, 
preaching to them, inviting them. If that's the intention, then no problem. But if it, the situation is clear, that instead of influencing them, they will end up influencing you, then you should stay clear from it. Lastly, I will end my speech with a quotation from Surah Tawbah, Quran Shabbat 9, verse number 96. Allah Azza wa Jal said, فَإِن تَرْضَى عَنْهُمْ فَإِنَّ اللَّهَ لَا يَرْضَى عَنِ الْقَوْمِ الْفَاسِكِينَ that if you are pleased with them, if you enjoy their company, you are pleased with these people, فَإِنَّ اللَّهَ لَا يَرْضَى عَنِ الْقَوْمِ الْفَاسِكِينَ for Allah certainly is not pleased with the wrongdoers. Allah is not pleased with immoral people. So if you take note, if you take uh, a note of these, these uh, actions, especially amongst the youth, the Muslim young stars, if you should take note of this action and we should stay away from it. Instead, we should associate ourselves with people who will give us moral benefits, religious benefit, and the people who will benefit more from Islamically, religiously, and uh, other positive benefits. I hope this will be beneficial to those who listen to it. And I urge you and myself also to adhere to this advice because it's very, very important. So we don't end up using our tongue and our actions, which we take as mere actions, and let them take us away from our religion. We pray Allah Azza wa Jal should guide us through the right path and make us do what is right and abstain from what is wrong. And may He count on, among those who listen to good advice and follow them, and not amongst those who listen to beneficial advice and ignore it. Wa akhir da'wana and alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Assalamu alaikum.